What's up everyone, RedTuxTK here with another video and today we're going to be hacking Animal Crossing New Leaf. This is part 3 and so in this video I'm going to show you how to change the map layout of your town. Um, it's kind of a risky thing to do if you're just going nuts with the map editor but I'll, I'll show you some ways you can back up your file and you can be safe with it. So uh, it's actually very similar to the past two hacking videos but it just uses a different uh, program altogether. There's actually something you have to save to your computer to get this to work. So anyways, before I get into this, uh, a few of you have talked about downgrading or asking if it's possible to downgrade your firmware on your 3DS. And as far as I know right now, there isn't a way. I'm thinking there used to be. I'm not sure about that though. Um, if anybody knows of a way to downgrade your firmware, please leave a link uh, in the description, or not the description, the comment box below. That would be very helpful, and I'll try to link that to, uh, you know, future videos I make and stuff like that. But for now, I would recommend um, maybe buying a used 3DS or trading someone that has a 3DS that, you know, has the old firmware or whatever. Um, and I would do this sooner rather than later because I think it's going to be harder to find those older firmware versions later on because people are going to be updating their 3DS's all the time and even with the old firmware when you have it seriously this 3DS your 3DS system with that firmware will ask you to update like every time you're on the internet it is tedious and it's kind of a pain you just got to remember to hit cancel when they ask you to update so if you have it don't update uh, if you don't have it I recommend, you know, if you really want to hack this game, you know, go to eBay or a used game store and, and do that. But anyways, we're going to get into this. So first thing you're going to want to do is boot up your game. And then when the game boots up, uh, you're going to select your mayor file. So there it is. Once you're in the game and walking around, press the home button. Go to your internet browser. And we're going to dump the RAM like we did in the first hacking video I made. Uh, there's the link for that if you need it again. And once you have dumped the RAM, go back to this screen right here and take the SD card out of your 3DS and put it into your computer. When you open up the SD card on your computer, it's going to look like this. And if these files right here are unfamiliar to you, uh, go and watch the first hacking video I made. It'll show you what you need to do with these files, uh, except for this one. I'll be showing this off in a later video. But um, these five files right here you need, uh, and you can get them in the first hacking video I did. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. So, But anyway, uh, this is the RAM file we dumped. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a backup of that file because you really need to with this program. It works differently than uh, the RAM editor online. So there we go. There's our backup. Um, to get the, the map editor for Animal Crossing, which is right here, you need to go to this website. And I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Uh, once you're here, you need to download this right here. The link is right here. So click it. Uh, once it's downloaded, it'll look like this. And, you know, it might be in a zip file. You probably have to uh, unzip it or whatever. But you can put it on your desktop or wherever. Uh, open it up. <coughs> now, uh, first thing you need to know about this is whatever you change. There we go. This is the RAM file. Whatever you change from here, uh, it's going to save. Like, there is no save button on this program. Whatever you do just automatically saves. So you don't want to just go crazy on this. But this is our town. This is the map layout of, of my recent town. And you use the arrows to move to which square you want to change. And then on the keyboard, Z and X move the tiles. 
Um, so this is actually how the map uh, deal works in Animal Crossing. When you make a town, it's all just squares put together, which is kind of weird, and I didn't imagine it would be like that. Uh, but that's how you change it in this editor as well. So, uh, for example, where our bridge and stuff was, I'm going to mess with this, and I'm just going to put grass, and I'll just put uh, more grass over here, and <laughs> what else? Let's do something weird. How about, what do we do? Scrolling through like a beach area. Yeah, that'd be weird. So there we go. Try that. And there's even water there too. That's going to be really messed up. Um, there we go. Okay. So we're going to leave it at that. And we're going to look at all the changes we made. <laughs> Voice crack there. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, there we go. So once you're done with that, you can just exit. There is no save button, but it just saved. So it saves automatically. It's weird how that one works. Um, so now that we've edited that, we can go back and put our SD card back into the system. Once you've got the SD card back into your 3DS, go back to Internet Browser. And then inject the file we just messed with, which is right there. And there's the link if you need it. After you've done that, go back to your game, right there, and you can actually see the changes on the bottom map. If you look at the bottom right of my screen here, uh, the bridges are not on water, they're just on grass. And then there's some uh, sand and water where it's not supposed to be. So we're really just kind of messing around with our town now. and. Uh, you can actually, with this map editor, you can make some really legit cool looking towns, but, oh goodness, we just, whoa, yeah, you can make it look a lot better than I'm doing right now, that's for sure. Yep, and you know, you got houses where they're not supposed to be kind of odd how I can walk there. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. And actually, um, some changes will be made when you save. Like, um, it's kind of weird how it works. It's almost like you have to save for certain things to change. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how you edit that stuff. And we're really glitching it. So, just make sure when you do this, you have a backup of your save. And, um, also that you just don't change a bunch of it at once. I would just piece it together at a time. Now, I do want to explain something. On that map editor, um, you know, it doesn't show the walls here and it doesn't show the uh, railroad. You can't change like beyond the railroad or beyond this wall. It's kind of like um, it limits you to where um, the station is like from the station all the way around the you know you can't just anywhere up here is off limits that won't let you change it and uh, what else yeah I don't know so you can do some crazy stuff with this if you didn't want a river in your town uh, you could get rid of it if you wanted uh, there are some advanced things like the waterfall now the waterfall is kind of something that every town has and see if I go over here I bet it's still over there see like <laughs> the waterfall is still here and I, I believe there is a way to get rid of this but it's something beyond that map editor it's like you gotta go into hex editing and I wanna do some of that next but anyways uh, I hope you can make your town as neat or glitchy as you want uh, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.